I am joined by Miss Kelly Price. Hi, Kelly. Hey, girl. It's so good to see you. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Thank you. What Same to start you. It, right? Absolutely. Yes. So, Kelly, let's get right into this yes. American Soul. Yes. How did you get involved with that project? Oh my God. Honestly, um, I, I was. I took some time off last year from taking dates because I got with a coach and I signed up for a class in production and, and acting. And I was looking at my five-year plan and I was starting to fall behind. And acting was something that was on that plan and where I was supposed to be at that point I was kind of lagging mm -hmm. um, so I pumped the brakes on taking dates and really committed to working on the craft of acting because I, I love it and I've always wanted to do it more regularly but I don't want to be seen as a girl that everybody knows as a singer that got the gig because she's a singer that somebody liked or loved right I wanted to give it the respect it deserved by doing the work and so um, got a coach in April signed up for a class in May went through an entire semester from May through August signed up for the second semester that started like in the end of August auditioned for Leanne in August and got called for the job the first week in September, like which everybody said to me is unheard of wow. to be that early in the process to get a series regular. Usually when you start off, like you'll get an appearance here, a co-star here, a cameo here or there, um, but to come up like five months after like yeah. jumping in all the way yeah. and getting a series regular is a big deal. So that's how I got involved. The audition came across my desk and I said, yes, I want to do it, but I I wanted to do it because of my relationship and my connection to Soul Train and to Don Cornelius. He was a very huge part of introducing me to the world. I was the wow. girl that record company executives said was too fat, too black, and too loud to sign to a record deal, but they called me every time they wanted a hit record for their artists. I would write for them, I would sing, I was ghost voicing, I was doing all of that in the 90s. And all of the record company presidents knew me, but they would not sign me to a deal because they didn't like the way I looked. And I, they felt like I was just too loud. I'm a church girl. Right. And I'm from New York, so when you put those two together, I'm just like really loud. Wow. But as the story goes, writing music for Ronald Isley landed me in the studio with him to produce him. He, he told me he wanted to sign me, and I said no. I ran from it for about nine months. He insisted that I needed to make my own music and just stop. It come from the background, and he told me that I would walk among the greats like Aretha and Shaka and Gladys and all those people. So when I did sign to him, he took me to Hiram Hicks at Island Black Island Polygram. And our marketing plan was to, because people said girls that looked like me didn't sell records, our marketing plan was to give them the music with no images. So we, I, we created a logo, I created a logo. It was the KP with the glasses wow. and my name. We sent the music to radio like that. We took all of our magazine ads out just like that. Nobody knew what I looked like. They took a meeting with Don Cornelius and when he heard me, he said she's a star yes. and I want to be a part of making her a superstar. Aww. So the very first time America and the world got a chance to see, I already had a number one record and people still didn't know what I looked like. By the time they saw me, it was on a Soul Train stage on a Saturday morning. Wow. And my very first award as an artist was, was the award for Best New Artist at the Soul Train Music Awards. And, and Don was very intentional in choosing to be a part of my success story. So to make this change in my life, to move into full-time acting and to do it telling this story was very emotional for me. I'm it was sure. very full circle. And I feel like it was God intended. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Kelly, I got a surprise for you. Yes. I was on the. I was actually on the set okay. the day you had to cry. Oh my Kelly, God. I have to ask you. Yes. How did you do it? How did you prepare? I mean, because there was so much crying. Yeah. I want to know what what actually went through your mind. How did you produce all of that? So, those tears. First and foremost, I can say that had I not signed on with the coach and started taking a class, I don't know that I would have been capable of doing it. I've had certainly enough life experiences to produce that moment, but for me, music has always been a safety net. As a kid, um, when hurtful things happened to me, when I was being molested, when you know when we were homeless, I would write and I would sing songs, and that's that was my safety net. So I've been able to be free inside of my music, um, but I wasn't capable of quite going there without the music bed because it was my safety net. My coach taught me that it was okay to allow myself to go to the deepest places that I hurt without the music surrounding me. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I pulled from the day that I found out my, my baby sister died mm -hmm. in 2014. Ah. I was actually on a stage in a sound check when I got the news. And uh, But I'm really grateful because my coach not only taught me how to go there, but she taught me how to take myself out of that moment as well. Because it's kind of dangerous if you go there and you live there. Right. So um, that's, that's where that came from. So it was real. 
the character deserved for me to be real and not act. Right. And so um, I was on a set where I felt safe with my producers, with everyone. And literally during one of those takes, I don't know if you saw it since you said you were there, but at one point I was buckled over and yes. on the floor in the fetal position. Yes. And our showrunner literally came and picked me up off the floor and just helped me. And so... Um, very emotional. I felt honored. I wanted to do this part justice, and I want people to see that I'm, I'm a real actress. I'm a real actor. I'm not a singer who acts. I'm an actor who just so happens to sing also. But well, it was an awesome performance, Kelly. And just one more question: What can the audience expect? What are you hoping that they gain from Soul, from American Soul? What I want them to get from American Soul is an edutainment. It's edutainment. We are educating them through entertainment. There was no social media back then, so you didn't know everything about what was going on in the lives of people who watched on television. We are going to literally unfold the mystery of Don Cornelius. You know him as a host and as a television show producer. You are going to get to know the man behind that host. His life, what caused him to do the things that he did, the reasons why he did the things that he did. We address his death. Um, we address the times, the culture, the political climate, the war, the, the height of the civil rights movement, Dr. King being murdered. We lived through those times. And so through Grand Park, you get to see what black households looked like in that time period. Well, congratulations, Kelly, and much more success Thank to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right.